So I got a call this morning from a couple of new homeowners. They said there's so many mysterious things going on around their house that they think it's haunted. I don't know much about haunted houses, but I know a lot about normal houses. So I told them I'd swing by to check it out. Hi. Hi, come on in. Thanks for being here. It's good to be here, I think. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Hi. Good to meet Thank you. Thank you. So, do you guys have something haunting going on around here? Yes, well, we definitely have a ghost. Maybe even two. Uh, there's creeping noises in the wall. Oh, and awful smells. Sometimes when I walk into a certain room, I feel this chill come over me. Yeah. Oh, and doors will close all by themselves. All right, let's take a look at these things one by one. Okay, check this out. When we're sitting in here at night, there's definitely scratching coming from inside these walls. Yeah, and sometimes it sounds like someone or something is clawing to get in. To me, it sounds more like your goblin is a mouse in the house. Mice can get through a hole the size of a dime, so the first thing to do is to break out the caulk and expanding foam. Use expanding foam to fill in around dryer ducts, pipes, and wires. Fill them up because that's where they get in. Next step, Tupperware. Rodents are often looking for something to eat, and one of your first lines of defense should be to remove that temptation. If they persist, Trap them. If you're kind-hearted, you can use live traps, but chances are, after you let them loose, you're gonna see them again. You don't wanna use poison baits because they could die inside the house or walls. Then you have another problem. It's hard to beat a good old mouse trap. Place them along walls or wherever you see droppings. I like to place the traps inside of a paper bag. So after one is caught, I can just fold the top over and throw the whole works away. I guess that makes sense. Okay, this is where it stinks. Yeah. It smells like death, right? You can smell it. Like death or, well, you know. Oh God, it's awful. It's like there's a ghost down here doing, you know, ghosts business. Well, if it smells like that, there's a good chance you're smelling that. The odor is probably sewer gas coming up through your floor drain. Just like a sink, the floor drain has a pee trap that needs to be full of water to prevent sewer gases from entering the house. The solution, water and vegetable oil. Fill the trap with water, then add a small amount of vegetable oil on top of that to prevent the water from evaporating so quickly. If that doesn't do the trick, you may want to run a dehumidifier to help eliminate moisture and the smells that go along with it. Okay, water and vegetable oil, I mean, that sounds too easy. So here in the dining room, we feel these eerie cold spots that give us goosebumps. I definitely feel a presence in here. A cold one. Well, your problems probably have more to do with some simple maintenance and adjustments rather than a poltergeist. The first thing to check is to make sure the heat your furnace is putting out is getting to where it's supposed to go. The number one culprit, a dirty furnace filter. You have to change and check them regularly. Next, check your room registers to make sure the dampers are open. And if they're easy to remove, check the ducts to make sure they're not blocked. You can always add auxiliary heat to a room, but you may want to have an energy audit done on your house first to determine where your house needs to be sealed or insulated better. Some utility companies will conduct these for free. But here's the real source of your cold spots, old leaky windows. You can get by this winter by covering them with plastic, but it might be time to consider window replacement. I guess that makes sense. There's one more mystery that I think not even those guys on home improvement TV shows can solve. Try me. Every time we open this door, it always closes on its own. Well, before you call Ghostbusters, there's a couple more things you should try. 
If the door was hung a little out of plumb, it can open and close on its own. You can add cardboard shims behind one or more of the hinges to straighten things out, but I prefer to use a hammer. A hammer? Yep, remove one of the hinge pins, put it on a hard surface, and give it a good whack to put a small bend in it, then replace it. Sometimes that will offer just enough resistance to keep your door from spooking you. You know, I gotta admit, I'm kind of disappointed we don't have a ghost. Yeah, me too. I mean, are you sure there aren't any? Well, you know, if you search around long enough, there's usually a logical explanation to house mysteries besides ghosts. But I hope what we ran through today makes your house a little more enjoyable and less spooky. Yeah, us too. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Here, we'll walk you out. Thank you.